everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, you're probably wondering what is going on over here. But to be honest, I don't even know what is going on because every time I try to clean this out, it just gets piled with more stuff. I've got like National Geographic here, a face mask. We've got a watch. Why well, say a watch in here? We've got, I don't know what this is. So my aim today is to create a little basket with a lid so that I can still sit on the kitchen counter, but it's just not gonna be an eyesore. So today, we're gonna to be using our cotton cord again, because this is my new obsession. Now I'm gonna be using a sewing machine, and if you don't have a sewing machine, but you've got a glue gun, then just follow the same procedure, just using glue instead. So before we get started, I've decided to add a little after image of what the basket turns out to look like. I love it so much, it gives me that African kind of hut feel to it. So that is what we're going to be making in today's tutorial. So what you're going to need for this project is some thick cotton cord, a sewing machine or a glue gun, matching thread, scissors and a measuring tape. So to start off my project, I'm going to create a coil with my rope and I'm going to be using the zigzag um, stitch. Because it's quite difficult to start this project off, I'm just going to go and do a zigzag stitch on a small little coil, forward and then do a back stitch around that. Now the aim is to start turning your coil and making sure that your thread catches both sides of the rope so that it's secure and there's no gaps in your basket. Please keep in mind that I'm doing a custom basket today, so my measurements might not be what you want to make. Um, so just remember before starting the project to have your measurements in place so that you can Keep going back and measuring the diameter of your basket and making sure that you're staying in line of the size that it needs to be. So once you are satisfied with the, with the width of your basket, we are going to start tilting that big coil upright and we're going to start sewing along the sides to create the depth of our basket. So I'm happy with the depth of my basket now. So I've just cut off the rope and I'm just going to go over the last bit with a back stitch and secure it. And later on, once I'm done with the lid as well, I'll get back to it with a, with a bit of yarn and a needle and just neaten that up a bit. Now we're going to sew the lid. Now I want to create a little bit of a handle. So that's my handle. I'm going to cut it. You can make it whatever size you want and I'm basically going to wrap that handle with a bit of a coil and we're going to do the same thing that we started our basket off with except now we're going to have a handle in place. Now this is a little bit difficult but just go backwards and forwards and over it um, with your machine just to secure that handle in.
guys, so now our basket is basically done and the lid fits perfectly. It kind of gives me like that African hut kind of feel to the basket, which I really like. Um, now we're just going to finish off those edges where we cut the rope. In my previous video, I sewed the rope down onto the basket, but this is just a different technique that you can use. So I've got a thin cotton cord that I had lying around the house, and I'm just going to feed it through my wool needle, and I'm just going to go over the edges there and neaten it up a little bit, make it look a little bit more professional. <laughs> guys I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial I know I did and it's such a great way to just save money because the shops do charge crazy amounts for these kind of things and they're just so fun and easy to actually make so if you enjoyed this tutorial please like my video and don't forget to subscribe to my page and if you have any questions or would like to see anything in our future videos please leave that in the comments below and voila it fits perfectly Yay! Bye guys!